Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a super fun and adorable card for you guys. I will be creating a cute birthday card using some lawn fawn supplies. Lawn fawn is my to go when it comes to cute adorable images and when I plan on creating some fun interactive cards. Well today I won't be creating any interactive card but I do have a very adorable scene with a castle and some tiny soldiers and a little princess and the cutest little dragon. Before we get started, I would really appreciate if you could take a minute to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time I post a new video. Let's begin with this Build a Castle die set by Lawn Fawn. This is a set of 17 dies that works great on its own, exactly like what we are going to create today. Or you could also pair these uh, with the Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel die and the Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel build a castle die add-ons to create an interactive card. I love how detailed this die is and there are so many tiny little pieces on this die set. You have doors and windows of the castle along with the door knobs and the window frame. We have flags and banners and towers, sets of balconies that go over the castle and the tower and lots and lots more. Here's a look at all the little die cut pieces. I cut all of them using a 100 pound white cardstock. We can go ahead and color it depending on our scene. Well, you could also cut these out using some colored cardstock. I cut the pieces multiple times as I was planning on creating more than one project. For our card today, I will be assembling our little castle and coloring all the tiny little pieces using alcohol markers and the Simon Says Stamp positively saturated inks for the larger pieces. I have the main frame of my castle along with the two towers. We can assemble all these pieces using either liquid glue or for some extra dimension you could also add foam tape on these tiny little pieces. The main frame of our castle which is this big building, I will be coloring it using cappuccino positively saturated inks. Well, I like to hold uh, the pieces that I plan on coloring onto a printer paper just to protect my work surface. You could also use a sticky mat to hold your little pieces together. I did the same color for the two towers. After I was done with the cappuccino, I used mocha shade on the edges to give it a more dense look. To add some texture on our castle, I used a brick stamp and stamped the mocha ink over both the main building and the towers. I then lightly blended the inks to tone down the dark brick pattern. You could also use a brick stencil if you have one in your stash. I mounted the towers onto the main building with some foam tape. Next, it's time to add on all those tiny little detailing pieces on our castle. For these pieces, I used my alcohol markers. For the balcony pieces, I used a bright shade of pink. I stuck all of these balcony pieces onto my castle using thin strips of foam tape. You could also just glue these pieces using some liquid glue, but I wanted to add some dimension here. Next, I attached the windows on our castle. I colored the insides of our window using yellow and kept the frame white. These are really small pieces, so I have my gel picker tool to pick up these little pieces. I use this tool usually for my sequin mixes or glitter mixes. Now one trick to note here when you're gluing up your tiny little pieces is that you could blot off the excess glue or paper or maybe some cloth so that when you go to stick them onto your die cut image it doesn't ooze out. Alright, next let's work on the door of our castle. Before we add color to the door, I wanted to add some texture to the door. So I ran this with this textured embossing folder through my die cutting machine for a more wood grain look. Then using some shades of brown alcohol markers, I colored our little door. Don't forget to attach the knobs. For my door knobs, I used the same bright pink that I used for my balcony pieces. Once I was done with that, I colored and attached the flags and the banners on our castle. This is the beauty of cutting all these die cut pieces using white colored cardstock. You could use any color of your choice, be it blue, pink, yellows, reds, for all these little tiny pieces. Our castle is now ready. Once assembled, it measures approximately three and a half by two, three quarter inches. 
which would perfectly fit onto a standard A2 size card base. Well, now all we have to do is uh, mount this onto an A2 size panel. Well, before that, I wanted to work on my background. For that, I have this white piece of cardstock, which is cut slightly smaller than an A2 size panel. This one now measures 4 by 5 1 quarter inches. I wanted to create a very starry, magical night sky, so I have guava, amethyst, iris, and galaxy positively saturated inks. These are beautiful shades of pinks, purples, and blue. To create my starry night sky, I splattered some of that gold metallic watercolor onto the entire panel. Next, I wanted to create some clouds. For that, I used my nested cloud dies to create small clouds for my night sky using white cardstock and a cloud border using some vellum and white cardstock on which my castle will stand. I will be stamping my sentiment on that big white cloud border. I stamp the sentiment, have a magical day from the unicorn stamp set by Hero Arts using some Versafine Onyx Black ink. Then, using some foam tape, I mounted the white cloud over the vellum cloud and adhered both on the bottom of our card panel with some strong double-sided tape. Well, now before I go ahead and adhere the castle, let me show you some of the most adorable little images that I stamped and colored off camera. I will be using the little dragon which is from the little dragon stamp set and we have a princess who will stand on one of those balconies and the little soldier guarding our castle door. Both of these stamp sets are uh, part of Lawn Fawn. Uh, the princess and the soldier are from Tiny Fairy Tale stamp set again by Lawn Fawn. I colored all of these images using my alcohol markers and stuck them on my card front using some strong liquid glue. I scattered the clouds on my background and tucked one under the castle. I adhered this finished panel onto an A2 size black top folding card base. I love how adorable this card turned out. All the little elements came together so perfectly. I had so much fun creating this card and I hope you had fun watching it too and got inspired. I will leave a link down in the description box below for all the supplies that I used in today's video. I would love for you to become a subscriber to my channel and if you do subscribe or already are a subscriber, please make sure to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the next time I post. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas or suggestions. Also, if you'd like to share your creations, please tag me on my Instagram at rp underscore shutterbug. There's a link to that in the description box below. Thank you again for joining me today. Until next time, stay safe.